so don't just keep an eye on that. Nice and slow and out. Yep. Okay, hold what you got there. Okay, holding. I can get that. It's Hold like it's on. doing curls. I'll stop. Before you let go, if you cycle the freeze on the arm, it shouldn't jump when you get off of it, in theory. Ooh, right. that's a good trick I did not know about. Okay. I don't, I don't, does it latch on here, or is it just dust? Looks cut? like it's just a piece of PVC. We tested it on deck, and it should latch. Okay. It's not, it's not latched. Okay, I'm frozen. You want to shoulder right? Or wrist right? Whatever you want to. Oh, it's so she close. I think that's in, isn't it? Zoom in video. Hard to see. I think I saw it clip in. I mean, it might not be exactly the same as a regular connection, so. But that sure looks. Looks latched to me. Yeah, I agree. Latched. Okay. Okay, go in. So you're going to hold on to that a little side. And yeah. I'm pull I up the pocky puck parking position, and we're going to fly over to the other vehicle, right? We're going to um, pull that out. And hold on to it. I'm going to fly over to that grate and probably. Yeah, I actually. Yeah, I think we're on the same page, Dan, with this, your next suggestion. So, yeah, well, there's two options drop all everything we got here in the mud and fly over to the grate, or try and fly over to the grate with all this. Yeah, well, so what do you. Th I think. I think the connection at the grate to this to this oily here yeah. is actually a stronger a stronger section. So I think best would probably be if we hold on here and where we've got, and we see if we can lift. No, I don't know. Yeah, we probably have to use the well, bridle here, right? At the very least, we can get this over. Yeah. The mess, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, let's but do I, that. First. I think at some point we're gonna have to drop this stuff in the mud and come yeah. get the grate. Yeah, I don't I think I can drag that great. I can try, but... No, no, I think you're right. Let's fly this over, get it on the other side, and then we go and pick up the grate and use that. Okay. Move your arm out of the way for a minute. Let me get a little closer here. How, how stretched out are we? Because uh, yeah. I don't think the white's going to be under any kind of tension going that way. So the grate will be our pull. Okay, we got T-Rex arms. I'm going to get a little closer here so you can get that hockey puck, okay? Yep. That's close enough. I can see it in bubble and yeah, three on. other cameras. Hold on. Hold on. Convince is close enough. You can reach out up 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 above it and see how it looks. Mm, I think I need to get a little closer. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Move out of the way. 
you're going to need some scope to uh, lift it out of there, right? In crane mode, yeah. Don't think we can get much closer than that. Pretty close. <laughs> okay, so you're going to lift it out and then kind of move it to the right. Grab the connector or the hockey puck? The hockey puck, but line your uh, jaws up with the connector because you got to slide it up at a 45. Yeah. Well, that's all the way tight, so I see what you're saying. So yeah, you won't grab it on the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like we would fletch it. Reverse fletch or 45 fletch. Might have to get that on a 45 because the connector is so close to it. Yeah. Something like that. Beautiful. Now, if you can uh, just hold on. Slide One here. This there's a ledge down here, so it's caught under this. It has to go yeah. to the yep. right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We see that. Yep, slide to your right. Nice and easy. Gotta go in and to the right. Now back towards the vehicle. Yeah. You gotta come this way. So uh, there we go. Coming. Nice and slow. Okay, if you wanna pick it up a little and kinda get it. Uh, yep, I'm gonna get it in a happy spot. Yeah, we want it uh, to the right. And up, and that oriented, yeah, uh, maybe up and just a little more. Uh, up that way. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, okay, you guys happy? Yeah. Visibility about to go to zero. <laughs> We'll switch this back to our s engineer. Uh, just make sure we've got this cable running underneath the other cable. It shouldn't be a problem, but just if, I'll keep an eye on it on the bubble cam or on the stills. When we uh, come up, I can see it here. I, so my plan is to come straight up, and then I have a uh, sonar target here. So I'm headed north now. It should be, I don't know, what is that? 300, 315, seven meters away. So I'm going to come up, turn a little, try and keep an eye on the grate, and mosey that way. Yep. Yeah. Can yeah, we, I agree. I think that's good. Can we turn our downward lights on and see if it fixes our visibility here? Because that would be a huge help if we can see. Yeah, but, but, but. But. Yeah, sure. It does a little better. Until the dust comes. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Coming up. How high are we coming up? Uh, you don't have to come up on the winch. You're good. Okay. I still see you and uh, everything's good. Float, Herc. Why aren't you floating? Float, Herc. Up, Simba. Up, up, Stuck up. Stuck in the mud. <laughs> Here's where I would do the tether assist so I don't have to... Uh, I can give you tether assist. <laughs> uh, I'll just give it a little nudge here and it'll come out. There she goes. Look at all that mud on the porch. Oh, God. <laughs> Disruptor for days. 
Do you want me to uh, give the porch a few? Uh... No, no, don't do anything. Looking a little tight on the left, eh? Oh, yeah. I'll yeah. Keep an eye on the left hand cable there. Yeah, bringing my head around. Our nice. victim is five <laughs> meters in front of us, so. <sighs> we might have to come up first. Yeah, I'm just going to let her float up. Um, I'll just let it float up, see what happens. I still got sonar dead ahead five meters 1.8 yeah. I'm gonna turn those lights back off to yeah two meters up two meters up and five meters away drifting back a little bit three meters up I'm just gonna gently come ahead see if we get any viz Still two meters up, still uh, four meters away now. Well, you can see it in the, in the connect screen. Oh, there you go, you see it. Yeah, I think uh, coming up gets it out of the, the white cable out of the mud. And Gives us that little bit extra. Yeah. Come let it float back up here. Hook's dragging the old ball and chain. Yeah. I hope the ball doesn't move too much. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that. He's thinking the other. He's thinking the media converter. Okay. Jeb's worried about the seismometer. I'm not worried about the screw. Of course he is. <laughs> oh, I don't, this, uh, the RV oh. right now doesn't have all that much up. No. I don't think it can do too much. How much thrust are you giving it when you're coming uh, up? I'm dead stick. I'm just floating. Yeah. It could be held by a string. Yeah. I don't think you can do much damage. Oh, you. Yeah. It's looking good. I'll let her float up again and we'll give another. Uh... Just, you are going to have that awkward aquadop sticking out. but. Yeah. The collision detector. Cables are still looking good. Like I'm, I get a really good view on the connector in the stills camera, and it seems yeah. fine. Can you plug in backwards, Danny? Technically, the I media mean, converter doesn't I have could. to reach. <laughs> there, the white it one doesn't just have let to go. go. The Fletcher. Oh, yeah, you don't care about that one, do you? Yeah, it just needs to be in this vicinity. Okay, uh, it's turning in the dust cap, doing a 360. I guess the keyless feature is a real bonus. <laughs> totally. That was kind of cool. There we go. Self-centering. Oh, we forgot to put a dust cap on the other one. Uh, we had our hands full. It's not <laughs> a big deal. Yeah. The problem is there's a dust cap on this we one. The problem is it's also that dust cap's not in the dive plan. So we can fan, fan it out later. I think we... with this light sediment, as soon as you make what the you connection want? to it, blows it out the back. Gently, gently lift your arm up and out away from the aqueduct. Um, you can go out behind it and gently set that thing down somewhere out there. Note, note to myself is give you more um, green on um, the next stop, uh, cable. Stop. Okay, let's just wait for a minute here. Um, if you, um, can you come up and over to your left? 
Real gently if you see the vehicle move, stop. Well, I was going to say, I could put it in the Fletcher. Um, I don't know if we got the scope here to put it in the Fletcher, the way that thing's coming out. For the Let's think about this for a minute. If I rotate anything. it down, if you are going to put it down, I can put it right into that Fletcher, I think. And then we can pick up the media converter later and drag it closer to get rid of any of the oily. Yeah, the problem is if he puts it down now, it's going to kind of be at an acute angle going back there. Let yeah. Me let me see if I can uh, play with my head a little bit here. Just wanted to make sure you're up above the... The oily can also... That. The Fletcher can be put in both sides with the hockey puck up or down. Not pretty, but it will work. It can also just be rested on the platform. shut it down to the right hand side of the platform and well let me try and figure out where we are here the um zedek good to lower the hook or when just stand by for now. Yeah, no, they can run it back down. Okay, I'll just go make sure they're not going to wait on us. I'll be back. All right. Someone on shore was asking what we're up to. <laughs> we're what are you guys doing? <laughs> what, a, what an uncommon question. <laughs> But uh, we just sent down a new platform with a water cur water current meter, uh, pressure recorder, and battery, because we're swapping out an old one with a failed pressure sensor. And this little platform connects to a seismometer we have buried in the seafloor, uh, which is measuring ground motion. And if you measure the water pressure and current, you can eliminate those signals from the ground motion and get a cleaner seismic recording. Okay, you might be able to, oh, let's we'll wait for Viz for a minute. You might be able to Fletcher it. But I'm, uh, yeah, I'm panned all the way right there, so. I think you can Fletcher it now. I think I can rotate it down and uh, plug it right in. Yeah, just don't hit the aqueduct. Maybe you can you can try gently, gently pulling your arm to the right, see if it brings the vehicle heading left. Yeah. Okay, so they're just turning the hook around. They're probably going to lower it in five minutes. Right. Okay, hold, hold what you got there, Danny. Holding. I'm going to lift that thing up one more time and... Drag it a little bit. <laughs> it is the ball and chain. Yeah, well, the other one's one of those like broadband size monitors. That's actually a ball that looks like like a yeah, little minesweeper gotcha. bomb. Ooh, Dr. Martin Heisman says the uh, pressure pressure readings are interesting on their own. If the magma chamber inflates or deflates, the what? Yeah, I think didn't Albert. The pressure reader does what? Well, the pressure sensor can. I mean, it not only detects tides and 
you know, water levels above it, but it can detect whether the magma chamber inflates or deflates. <laughs> didn't the didn't pressure sensor on here? Yeah. Oh, wow, it's crazy. Didn't Albert have an inflated magma chamber, or was it? oh appendicitis? <laughs> Science jokes. Had to do it. I guess so. Shout out to Albert Rusky. There you go. Now we wait. That looks much better. Now that I've ruined the viz for the next half hour. Worth it. Well, Maybe. if I got an hour and a half till that the wire is in any kind of position, so. about majority of a dive at ACO. Waiting on Viz? Yep. Make two movements up. Wait 45 minutes. Really? Oh yeah. Yeah, I think. It was less than 0.1 knot current down there on the bottom. Hmm. So it just looks like this. Um, we once had a 24 hour dive in Strait of Georgia to plug in one platform because the first the current was too strong so the ROV just had to like hold on and wait the current for like six hours or something. Yeah. Nothing. And then you can't see anything when there's no current and then... Uh, yeah, I've played it in the Strait of Georgia before. <laughs> we do that every, uh, I don't know, five years. There's a survey from the... of the pipelines that come out to the... Uh, from Tawasan out to Vancouver Island. Yeah, yeah, that's his, that's right by our network, right? Yeah. Uh, the currents, surface currents are so strong hitting the one way and then you go five meters down and it's the opposite direction. There's one albatross out there. So should we try to fletcher this, or do you want to just drop it? No, I want to fletcher it. I don't want to dig around in the mud for it later. Okay. 20 minutes now saves us an hour later. I like it. Probably, yeah. If we have to pick it up, back, put it in the other one, it's a possibility. So. Slow is fast, right, Dirk? Yeah. Yeah, I've definitely found that rushing, the biggest, <laughs> the biggest skill is to fight the urge to rush. That's yep, octopus speed. No, aqueduct kind of complicated things a bit. No, Well, if we would have turned the platform around, it would have been a lot better, but it is how she lies.
clear for movement. Yeah, I'm just not sure if we're gonna. Uh, not sure what you're gonna do with this thing. Mm, and go up behind it. He did say the uh, it could go into the Fletcher opposite, right? Yeah, it can go either direction. Oh yeah, that'll go there. It's beautiful. You'll have to flip it around now, obviously. Careful. That. I don't know, the okay. cable is pretty well tensioned, not to Lift it up. Yeah, it's pinch fighting each other here. Uh, come up uh, to your left a little. Is there any way we can get that? Uh, you're moving me, Danny. Yep. Uh, trying to drag that thing over, but it's just moving us. Well, uh, yeah. is there any way we can get this black cable to the other side? Um, you know what I'm saying? What? It, yeah. Uh, I, you've moved us now, so I don't have the view of your... You want me to turn to the right? I mean, to the left? Should I Quick watch into video, two seconds. Come up and bring the amp into view. Come to your left. Mm, left some more. And are you out behind that connector? You can come down on your shoulder nice and easy. Okay. Let go. Hey, Roger. Oh, not talking to us. Pilots ready? We're ready. Back row, are you ready? Oh uh, yeah, we're ready. All right. Oh, don't fall that way. Come on. We're gonna. I'm gonna pick it up and chuck it over that way. Oh, okay, you are. Okay. Yeah. okay. Go oh. ahead, Danny. Pick it up off the aquanaut and chuck it off in the mud back there. Just careful of the aquadop transducers. Or aquadop. I should have uh, hedged my bets the first time, but we're going to have to put that one in the mud. Videos on comms. And come down a little lower, straight down on your shoulder, easy. Yeah, beautiful. Let her go there. Beautiful. Well, well I don't with that thing anymore. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'll no, be back off this uh, platform a little bit. I can unplug the dummy. Just. Tight on the size mod there, as you can see. So, yeah, no, I'm watching it. Very yeah, good, thanks, Jack. I'm gonna pull that dummy. Dust cap. I think we can plug it in from here. Uh, I think. Either that, or I can Let me look around pick up that know. cable and throw it over the. Uh, instrument kind of scoop it over I think we'll be able to plug it in from here you guys I reckon so. yeah I think I think it's worth a shot okay yeah pull the dummy
Come on. I think, Danny, I think you gotta come slightly little up. Yeah. Let me reposition again. Yep. Move your arm. Look in the past doing that side raise flip out, but dust caps. The upright bar. Okay, well, let me get back on the upright bar. I want to hit the upright bar. Okay, try it. your friend too. Mm -hmm. Morning, Minnie. Morning, afternoon, evening. Welcome to Fun and Games in the Mud. Yeah. I went up and looked at the screen and I wasn't expecting the the muddiness. I think it's once you touch anything down here it's sedimenty. Yeah bottom appears to have a fluffy like substance yeah is it that jelly kind of like stuff or uh, not yeah yeah it's miserable yeah it'll be like 10 or entertaining depending <laughs> on how you look at it <laughs> you'll be so much heavier when you lift off <laughs> Can go in. Well, I guess not. We can just unplug this guy. Uh, can I get a zoom on that connector? I want to make sure the pins are where they should be. Copy. You ready? Looks like it's facing up. Key on top. Yep. You'll be able to see it in bubble after you get the. Oh, well, you can other see inside. Out. You can see the uh, inner pin. Oh yeah. Facing up is good because that's yep. the way the cables are going. It looks like it might act, uh, it might be straight up or a little bit towards eleven o'clock, eleven thirty. Hmm. So on Could be that straight up. connector we have up there, does that mean the pins on the bottom. So I put it in upside down. I don't believe so. No, no. you should regular because pins on oh, okay. the bottom, right? So the shell on this one's backwards from the others. Yeah, this one's also backwards. Yeah. yeah. So you have to have the cables facing down how it was. Yeah, it's keyways at the top of that connector. Okay. Uh, you want me to swing the arm up out of the way? Yeah, swing the arm to the right, left. I mean. Yeah, then I gotta come up first. Yeah, I think I can get it. No. Yeah, I can get that. Yeah, I can't come up much more. Let me yeah, come back good. down. Hold on. Right Hold on. Let me come back down.
actually pin in the platform, which should be a good thing. Hmm. Yeah, QA is on the top base on the still. Turn the uh, down lights on for the moment. Thanks for the heads up. I've got my shoulder all the way up. There we go. So I have to lift the cables up go and ahead, over, Doug. I think. Copy. Yep, yeah, we do have pings. Thank you. Uh, you're pinning my cable. All right. All what you got. Yep. I wonder if that's communication to that manifold. I don't know, but we need to deal with it. Of course, it won't happen on deck. Danny, if you wouldn't mind coming down just a bit while we're waiting, that isn't quite a tight bend on there. If you can without uh, endangering the... Yeah, looks, looks great, thanks. Just caught on the jaw. Okay, I can get that. Now that I can Spin your wrist to the right a little. Okay, clear now. Just go slow near the aqua top there. Spin your wrist to the other way, other way. You spin it around, they'll flop over. Gotcha. Whoa, easy, whoa, easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice and slow now because the platform's pinned, so we start moving it. Or the vehicle starts moving, you'll have to stop. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna rack out. <laughs> no zoom required. See underneath. I don't know if that's better or worse. Worked out. That's better. Okay, hold that. Hold that. We're in. I saw two clips going. Uh, so. I can still see them, I think. Yeah, I don't know if that's in yet. I can give you a zoom. Yeah. I promise I won't stir anything up. Nice. Man. I can give it a nice little nudge once he pins the platform again. No, I don't think you're quite in there yet. 
I think you got to lift up on your jaws just a little, and then you can gently push till it clicks. Go ahead, uh, Ed, you can zoom in. Yeah, coming in. That's good, thanks. Right there. Got zoom on this still. Yeah, no. <laughs> They're definitely not in yet. Okay, stop. Coming out. Stop. I think um, your jaws are touching the back of the connector, so it's not going to latch. So okay. If you, uh, let me if you cycle the freeze right now, the ROV is lifted up. So if you gently try and unplug until the ROV comes back down. There it goes. That looks better, yeah. There, they went. Yeah. Okay. Same thing gently until the camera settles. Beauty. The love tap. Do you need a close shot of that dirk at all, or are you good? No, I'm, I'm fine. That's it. Okay, great. Dan, thanks for that tip. You know, end of the cruise. <laughs> uh, Dan, I need to restart the software over here. Roger. I think you should be fine because you're not using autos or anything. Yeah, I'm well, well, <laughs> stuck in the mud here. I'm finning tip. I just figured out my own zoom feature here, Ed. Oh, you did? Well, on, uh, <laughs> no, but I've got the JPEGs to zoom in and I've got the high res. Oh, right. I can open the raw now, so <laughs> you can really get in there. Is it talking yet? <laughs> How about now? It's about oh. time to fire it up, right? Um, oh. So what's next? Oh, we got to do a battery thing here. We or we're waiting. Yeah. Do you uh, want to do the battery thing, or we have to wait for that one? What do you? Well, think is the best thing? there's no sense doing the battery if if nothing's working, right? And it's the same. I feel about the getting the connection and the parking position. Till we let's confirm if it works. Yeah. I'm before we get the other thing in the clutch. I'm like. comfortable with it uh, powering up now. John can do his checks. Okay, let's let's do that. Uh, maybe can we get a heading? Do we already have a heading of this? I, I can orient you here no, for a heading. No, um, heading and coordinates would be nice, please. Okay. So that's our formal request to have shore power on the, uh, the port. Right? Yeah. yeah. I'd say that's a heading. I can't believe we drugged that great. <laughs> yeah. I, no. I think you might have moved the mud bat, too. <laughs> 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 you can see the other one back there in the distance. We're not that far away. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not that bad. Ricky, and then after that, if you can request the systems to power on. RCM North JB 17 port J8. Should we put that dummy in the box? Uh, I don't know. I might need it. We'll just leave it down here yeah. with the platform for storage. Yes, yeah. one moment. <laughs> Jeff, this is going to be quite an involved test, right? It's not going to be a quick one? Yeah, they're going to fire it up, and that instrument, the seismometer, takes five, ten minutes to power up. Then you have to test it. John's, yeah, he's mainly going to look that it turns on. We're not going to look at the data right now. We can't unlock the masses while the ROV's nearby, but... Hey, Ed, what's on uh, PC3? He's going to turn on the aqua. PC3 is a nav screen with a grid. And the broadband, or How the BPR. Uh, I try to talk to each one individually, and there might be a little bit of troubleshooting, changing baud rates and stuff, yeah, so yeah. it Hold on. could be half an hour. You know. Yeah. If you have put the sonar dyne on there, that would be fantastico on PC2. Sonar dyne is uh, Rennie's. It's, it's in the KBM to 
Dan, if you want, I'll throw a soda down on this screen again like I did last night. Uh, that worked well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need it here. Dan, if um, where it's going to take a bit of time for them to fire this up, can we go see this white cable and how it relates to the seismometer? Roger. That's what we wanted, things said. Now, Rennie's got a little mini Sonardyne computer in the background. Oh, there. nice. Got my depth, <laughs> 468. It's got four screens. Down. Takes four screens to navigate. Yeah. Um, Still can't get it right. <laughs> <laughs> it's what it is. It's okay. I've got like six screens to move a manipulator. Okay, Ulrike, there's the, uh, there's the coordinate. Oh, I didn't. Is that a little condensation on the screen right sure. there? Oh, I think it's maybe a little oil from our... Oh, okay. Something, something. Oh, yeah. Well, at least it's not a dust cap. <laughs> you can zoom in this touch if you want it. Oh, that just looks like it's in a good spot. Uh, have a little mud on your porch there. <laughs> <laughs> Just front ballast, okay? Yeah, let's not Forward ballast. Let's not dump that into the other uh, platform when we head back. So you can see where we moved the cable there? Yeah. It's a pretty straight shot for now. a good sign that it's still buried here. But I think we might have still moved it. I don't know. Well, we can kind of see the path where it goes now, yeah. though. Yeah, that's from us kind of dragging it. Is that a 30 degree angle? Sure. <laughs> no, I <don't. laughs> no, I'm talking about this, this thing. Yeah. Uh, Maybe we can figure out where it is now. Maybe it's right here. Looks a little disturbed. Looks like an old ROV landing spot. Yeah, we uh, we looked around there for a sign, and all we saw was. Uh, or a little pull rope. It's very silty, but... This mud uh, probably acts as a pretty good strain relief, too. Looks like there was maybe a loop here we pulled out. Yeah, it does look funny. But it definitely keeps going. At least a little bit appears to keep going. Do you guys quick creep these in the place? Pardon? Do you no, use like quick creep or anything? Or? Glass no, beads. no, glass uh. beads. So we put a case on in, like one of the sauna tubes, plastic, yeah. and then uh, put it about 30 inches down, 24 inch sauna tube, and then vacuum it all out, drop right. it in, and then fill it with glass beads. That sounds like fun. <coughs> oh, we come a long way since the yeah. first one. I think the first one took 17 hours to do. Yeah, they took forever. But then the last one, I think we did like four hours or something. Well, we started improvising and slamming the ROV into the top <laughs> of the caisson. I'll never forget <laughs> Shepard telling Tim Barry, the ROV is not a hammer. <laughs> he just ignored him and kept on hammering. <laughs> All right, so zoom in there for us, Ed. I don't know if that's a trace in the mud there or what I'm seeing there. This is just a pattern in the mud.
I don't see any glass beads. The long lost hylomena. Okay, you can go wide. We're looking for a tell, a tell tale. What's the distance from here to the aux platform that we just deployed? That would be uh, from the aux platform to us is 18 meters bearing 225. The cable's 20 meters long, so it's got to be right here. What's that off to the left a little bit? There's like a... <coughs> it's got to be so right there. Yeah. We saw, see that little pull ring under there? It looked like that's where it was uh, before. Yeah. I bet you that's it, where it is, just right there. And then this was just a weird, maybe a loop that goes that way or something. Yeah. There wasn't any uh, evidence there other than the pole ring and some disturbed soil, maybe from dredging. From our new, newly landed, it's back to the newly landed aux platform. Yeah, that's 18 meters bearing 037. Hey, you see. Mm -hmm. I yeah, can so there's still two meters in there somewhere. I can look to the left here. Um, we definitely didn't pull on the connector on the on the broadband because the soil would have been more disturbed. I think we're good. Okay, that's a good survey. Yeah. We, uh spied around here and didn't see anything. Yeah, I bet you it's right there. Looks like a bunch of disturbance ROV tracks. Oops, wrong button. That little ring right there, a little rope ring. That was definitely the wrong button. Wow. Just gotta bury what we cover Just our put tracks. a little more silt on it to cover up. Hold it down. <laughs> Definitely the wrong Shore way. says that uh, communication with the seismometer has been established. Sweet. They're going to check on the uh, auxiliary instruments now. Well, we always always had comms as a seismometer, right? We did, but it's nice to get them back. <laughs> 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 nice to know we're not worse off. Yeah. I guess that is good, because you were more worried about the green cable. Yeah, the one that you wouldn't get comms back. And before we did not have communications with the BPR and the Aquadop, is that correct, Jeb? I believe the Aquadop was functional, it was just the BPR. Yeah. Okay. Quick check just on the media converter and uh Yeah, I'm just gonna make a big mess here and clean myself oh. off a little bit. Did you see that? We're way out here. Jeb, good work. And you're nailing at this cruise, huh? Well, I might break even. <laughs> <laughs> the BPR is online. Oh man. Yeah, we did it. It works. That took about two days of piecing together paperwork from previous generations, but come up uh paid couple meters, maybe. Oh congrats. Thanks. Well done. Do you guys remember Bob Meldrum? He used to come out with us and do seismometers for NRCAN. Oh, yeah. yeah. I have well, a photo of him somewhere, I think. Yeah, I think yeah. I've seen one of those photos. Yeah. yeah. This was one of his things, and ah. his notebooks kind of got filed away when he retired. Oh, that's good. <laughs> They're accessible somewhere. Okay, oh, you didn't have them, me. though? I don't have them. Oh, well, that's not good. Yeah, and they might be hard to decipher, too. Say again, Dan? Yeah. Oh, I was just asking Danny to look down. So. Okay. I did not hear you. <coughs> the current meter is responsive, too. Three for three. Three for three, yeah, so... 
We'll follow the dive plan, but that means we're going to be uh, turning on a battery at some point, too. Yeah. Let's go turn on a battery. I think so. Well, it, it, we'll triple check. We're not missing something in between, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. But we're going to want to reposition back to the to the newly installed platform. <laughs> we're going to need all of the bath first. No. Car, Car wash. wash. I am the Great Oz. <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're definitely not going to unlock the masses yet, right? No, we'll be well away before okay, we do so that. They, this is um, in the dive plan to unlock them now, but we won't do that. Okay, enough. Probably gonna scoop it again anyways. <laughs> okay, so our next step is to turn the battery on. It's roughly where that crosshair was. Right. Our hook is at 945 on its way down. Now Dan, if you go perpendicular with the battery, that would be best. Roger. Just I'm going to give you a little more tether. Yes, please. Come around and find us again. Oh, there we are. Let the dog have a little more leash. Jeb, have you heard anything about the RAS PPS? Any updates on that or not really? Uh, I checked in earlier today, and they're going to play with the breaker settings on the junction box a bit. It, it looks like there might be too much current on power up and over 70, 80 meters of cable, a 15 volt supply is turning into less than the voltage required at the instrument end. So Sergio's gonna brush up on the Oceanworks documentation and see if we can do it remotely by changing the settings on the breaker. There might be news since then. Turn that the, was uh, around lunchtime, on. I think. Thanks, Dan. Could you hear a ticket on this? Yeah, there's a ticket, I can dig it up again. Um, we can sit in front of the battery, it's fine. I just make it. Well, make yeah, it we want to look at the media converter, and uh, I think we want to put this uh, cap away now before we drop it. It doesn't say here to turn everything off before we start fiddling with this again. Do we need to turn it? Thanks for the rack back. Can, uh, yeah, we're not on, touching hold on, any, any come out of there connectors a bit. anymore. Okay, release. Ready? Yep. He turned it down like, oh, I don't know. I don't need him. Ding. Oh, look at that vertical. We bounced off bottom. Just take the win, huh? Just take the win. 
Yeah. Don't mess with it. It's fine there. You stressing over the uh, Fletcher thing? No, no. We're just discussing whether we turn things off or keep them on for the, while we're doing the Fletcher thing. Well, why do you want to do the Fletcher thing? Uh, if we ever just the uh, media converter everything. will be lonely in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's very important these connections stay out of the mud. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously from that media converter, hey? You, you, you're getting it. Priority is to turn the battery back on. Roger. So that all looks stressed out. Pardon? <laughs> that all looks stressed out and amazing that it didn't come unplugged. That looks fine. This is fine. This one doesn't matter as I'm, much. I'm comfortable with what's happening. Yeah. Something like that, Ed. <laughs> a little arbitrary, I'll give you that. Um, no updates on the RAS PPS, Dirk. Okay. Uh, looks like systems in Sergio were still troubleshooting as of this afternoon. Oh, okay. Can I land in front of it there? Yeah, I land in front of it. I can make it work. That big mess we made there. Oh, look at this. Huh? Looks like a construction site. I think this platform has the distinction of being the most horizontally traveled platform we have because it's come out on two previous expeditions and not had time for deployment. Well, nothing yeah. has come as far as the RC Moorings. Yeah. They go on every cruise. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I had the record. <laughs> Us having deployed them now. So That's this one's uh, fourth cruise is the chart. 90 degrees? This one, it. At least 90. Yeah. Okay. Um, hold on. Hold I on. feel most comfortable with 90 because uh, that's where I tested it. Oh, so you don't want to see your own writing then? Yeah, I've got pictures of that side, but it is. 90 is. And what it actually. Indicating there? Yeah. yeah. And uh -huh. it actually would say it right there. Like on the side, you just can't see it from here. Once it's, it's rotated. The problem is when it's on at 90, you can't lock it down. That's right. But that's okay. I don't see the any any reason for locking it down down here. No, it's and just steel housing. If we recover, okay. if we recover it, we'll lock it in. Let me know when you're ready, to Dan. Down lights coming on. Coming on. Down lights on. Oh, okay. I might actually be able to dig up the instructions for John to test whether the battery turned on or not. That'll be a bonus. We'll see. I think the record for most distance traveled post-deployment's got to be held by the VPS. <laughs> Where in Alaska did they find it? <laughs> uh, I can't remember. <laughs> Barrow. Yeah, it went further than the, um, <laughs> than the OE. Or Little Diameter, or whatever it yeah, is. Uh, ATCA. Yeah, ATCA. Further than the... The Pribilofs? <laughs> St. George, St. Paul. We had uh, one float show up. Sarah one Pentos float showed up in... Um, you want a little zoom there, Danny? Charlotte. Yeah, I'm trying to see this thing. Yeah, stand actually. by. Let me get you a zoom. Hold on a second. I'm just going to come to your wrist. There you go. There you go. That works. Coming out with you. We had a benthos float accidentally releasing someone from Haida Gwaii, northern huh. BC, found it and returned it. the octopus. What's the battery for in case they go offline? Or Yeah, I think the philosophy was we've got 30 days of battery capacity if the big one happens and the network gets chopped up in the earthquake. Future civilizations can come back and download the data. <laughs> <Roger>. <laughs> Okay, that's it. This one only goes 90 degrees. Yeah, we can take a peek at the uh, connector end cap if you're over in that direction. And 
Okay. Phil, just before that, can we oh. knock that uh, vertical down? The um, it's clamp, just so it's not so close oh. to the aqueduct for current. Just in case oh. it kicks up it's an eddy or idea. something. Okay. Or can you secure it up with the ring? It might spring back. We'll see. Yeah, well, I guess we'll see. Up there. Oh uh, no. Uh, it's bungee. Uh, it's, it's bungeed up. Can we still try just with the ring then? Yeah. Just don't like the concept of the current meter being lower than the obstacle. I should have enough bungee. I can just clamp it. Yeah. Need to tilt down. Trying. There you go. Thank you, Dan. Bend it a little bit. <laughs> just clamping it. Remember, remember, we want that to survive for recovery. So. Yeah, but I still think <laughs> having this next to the current meter is not a good thing. Easy now, yeah. Easy. Yeah, I, mean, I don't remember the angle it looks at, so that's a fair jaw harp concern. Uh, roll your wrist left or right. Yeah, one way. The, there you got it. Beautiful. Oh, good trick. Sweet. All right, what do you want to see now? The end of, end of it? I think so. Yeah, there's a, the indicators. The indicators, but then there's also a diacrodop. I think there's a request here to look at that. Oh, the X. The X, yeah. Right. I, I believe I oriented it to face away from the connectors. So I'll double check that. Zoom in just a bit if you want to. Up is on. Looks good. The battery is upon okay. us. What kind of batteries we got in there? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a large lithium pack. I can't remember how many cells. It's only 14 point something volts, but capacity to run a 20 something watt system for about 30 days. How many? How big is it again? It's 14 point some odd volts. I can't remember the capacity, but the whole system draws about 200 milliamps at 48 volts, and supposedly it can run for about 30 days. We can Tesla pack. Yeah, I think they're Tataran cells. 18650s? <laughs> the laptop battery? I, I can't remember. There is the X, I think. No, I'm going to... No, nope, X is directly yeah. away from the... In I'm going to... I'll do it later. You can take your uh, Atlanta turn out now. How, how about that? Yeah, I can do that. Like we planned it that way. Can you see it there, guys? Yeah, see it. Thank you. I'm taking a picture of it right now. Awesome. Fifteen hundred meters for the hook. Roger. If we're at all worried about that Fletcher reaching the battery pack, then uh, we can just put it on top of the or reaching its like that Fletcher plate reaching its home. We can just put it on top of the battery, just out of the mud. Roger. If we have time, if we can flip the media converter so it's out of the mud as well. Mm. I'd kind of like to let the viz clear for when we do the hookup. So, or we can wait for the viz. Yeah, the, if we, we can still down. wait. Yeah, we can still wait. I think that just makes the whole thing clean and done. Roger. Okay, I have zero turns on my 681. That mic's going off. Nope. Yep, no, that's good. Good catch. Hey, Dirk, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, can you do me a big favor? Yeah, sure, what do you want? Talking from the lab. Can you take a look at the next dive plan and take uh, see what's the number of the next larval traps that I put in the dive? I think oh. it's I think it's 32 and 34. Oh, or sorry, 30. Dive plan. Cascadia. Okay. Are you in the lounge or the wet lab, Fabio? Wet lab. Great. Let me turn that down about 9 dBs. 
I can do that. Mm -hmm. There we go. Got it. Yeah, I guess. Um, which side at Cascadia, Fabio? 1026B. Oh, that's 1026B. much better. All right, we're on it. Yeah, I can do that. All righty. Thanks, Dan. So I think the plan is to get that connector out of the mud. Oh, I'll wait till you're on comms. So, Danny? Yes. Oh, let's see some comms, but we just want this, even if you can just drape it over there. Okay. We don't need to put it back in the plate. Yeah, the only way that's going to work is if we move the media converter another 10 feet. I don't know. Jeff, do you think there's no way that would have any negative impact on the data if it's just sitting there, does it? Leaving it in the mud? Well, no, no, leaving it just oh. wrapped over there. Check, check. I don't see why. That's gotcha. not, not much further away than the real, like, the designated spot. Okay, I'm just right. this system doesn't care about vibrations or anything. No, I don't think uh, either of those instruments is that sensitive. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up that connector and drape it over the battery. Okay. You need me to pop uh, closer? Uh, let me see here. Can uh, mm -hmm. um, Danny? Yes. Okay. No, go for it. They're good. Might be sitting on it. So Fabio's on the web, yeah. Do you mind just calling him on there? Okay. Yeah, just I'm here. All right. Slow. Please fail. You know. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Danny, just hold up there. Yes. Um, yep. Cable's going under. I think I if you just put that down gently, that's probably the best spot for it. I'm looking at that foul mat, and I don't think it's going to. There's no nice place for this. So just. If we could put it, just not drop it, but just place it on the mud, so it's kind of out of the mud. Okay. Like leaned against the platform. Kinda? Yeah, I kind of just leaned against the platform. I don't, I don't want to now at this point bend well, that foul mat anymore. Okay. Uh, just right there is fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. <coughs> yeah, I'll take a quick picture of this setup. And uh, next, if we can just scoot over to the media converter, which is just off to our right, yep. and just write that frame up as well. Okay. There, it's right under your porch. Yep, directly underneath us. Got it. You just want to stand it up. So. Okay, I'm just going to grab that uh, Fletcher parking position. Oh, yeah, right at the top. Yeah, don't do a deep grab there, but just some fingertip. Push it over. Here, let me tilt down. Yeah. Maybe uh, pan to the right, down light, so that helps. Might have to back up a bit with your porch there. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's probably hitting us. 
Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Just take your time, Danny. We, we've got time. Just wait for this. It's like, we've already got the win, and I don't want right. to do yeah. it. Right, like yeah. Don't rush this. Yeah. And we have time. We're waiting for the hook. It's only it's still at 17.90. Yep. What's on the blue uh, bungee? Uh, that, I think that was just to to probably wrap this piece of cable that's going towards the oh, okay. frame. Right. During it's nothing, deployment. not attached to anything large. No, no. It's a, I think it's just probably zip tied to that green frame we're seeing there still. Okay, well... If I grab the black, uh, the red da uh, round rod, yep. that should be good. Yeah, that's a safe spot. I think you're probably good now to go ahead. Just gentle and then... So that battery, backup battery on the platform is six and a half kilowatt hours. For those taking notes at home. Those playing the home edition? Yeah, let, yeah. if you could do, don't mind doing that a little bit. Just slow, but yeah, get rid of some of that stuff on there. I just don't know, you know, this mud, Strait of Georgia mud is not good for anything, so. That land right side up. Dropped it. Yep. That's good. Yeah. I think that's okay. <coughs> okay. So Let's just see a bit. Once it. it does settle, then yeah. yeah. I can give the green mat a little bit of a nudge, push it down into the dirt. No, no, that's fine. No, I think I want it out. Yeah, that's that's good the way it is there. Connector looks relatively free of mud, so that's fine. Okay. I'll just wait here for a minute. The river of mud. What is happening here? There we go. We're done, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we're done here, so Yeah, no, go for go for a run. Yeah. Dirk, you still want an image of this after the or are you Okay. <clears throat> All right. Yep. Hey, Jake, while we're sitting on the bottom, can you uh, cycle starboard and buck uh, just so I can get a freeze frame? I've Good. got that, got you it. can put it back. Yeah. Yep. And then if you could do the same with port and bio, please. Uh, yeah, that's just mud. All right, I got, got it. it. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Hey Dirk, do you know the distance between, go ahead Winch. Okay, Roger. Thank you. 
Um, what's the distance between the beacon and the weight? Or hook, whichever is the lowest. Okay. Winch control. Can you let me know the distance between the uh, beacon and the bottom of the package? Copy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Give me a moment to remember that. <laughs> Googling random number generator. Copy that. So 15 plus 7 then. 22 meters up. Would you figure that out yourself? Roger. Took a little bit of a scribbling, but yeah, yeah good. got there. Carry the, never mind. <laughs> Carry uh, the one. Where are you? I'm looking south. Yeah, yeah head, head wall south. Okay. That's gonna be did did we um, pass that you come old platform down. on the way? Because uh, there was a little bit of confusion on the... I did pass it. Come okay. Up, come up quite a ways, Jake. Chase, yeah. Coming up. Because it's thrusting down where we get all the disruptor viz. I have it as only like five meters away to the south, is that right? Yeah, Something it was like pretty that. close. Yeah. I turned okay. around and it was there. Okay, Raj. <coughs> so easy to relocate. Got it. Um, it's a good thing we're doing this now because yeah, now full thrust down. the package is coming towards us. I have to see that again, though. <laughs> Probably yeah, up here. Look at that beautiful paint job. <laughs> Just going to give you a few love taps there. They don't teach that one in ROV school. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> Careful, Dan. Don't let the porch off. What's that? I think we're good there. Roger. Oh, dropped the pen. Okay, I'm uh, coming up. You can stay off to the south there for now. Package is approximately 25 meters north of Atalanta. I think we'll want to stop the payout at 22.40. And we are currently at 21.22. Right there, I'll come up 100 meters of Atlanta. Copy.
Go ahead. Copy that. Uh, we're tracking it based on our beacon depth here and uh, continue to pay out. I will advise. He's at 22. He said he's at 22. Yeah, you can hold him there. You want to hold there? Yeah, please. Winch control. Hold. I'll stop. He's screaming down at 30 meters a minute. So, what's his? What's his? Uh, what's the beacon depth? Beacon depth is 2190. So that's in. So it should be about 22. 2210 or so. That's for the weight, the hook. Should be. ROV is getting cleaner every meter. You know you can right click on the Atlanta camera, but not on anything else. That's an interesting feature. <laughs> I don't know how you discovered that one. You're doing exactly this, and then, <laughs> oh, I'm pressing the wrong mouse button. 22:30, you say? I should get a ping on the sonar on this sweep. Uh, yeah, 22:10, some something like that. We should be facing oh, north, though, right? Yes. No. Atalanta will get it in the aft of... Oh, okay. Yeah, it'll come up. Oh, I need to spin Atalanta around, actually. Which way do I want to spin it? A clockwise. Spin clockwise. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, horizontal distance is approximately 20 meters. Perfect. <laughs> I don't do uh, this too. Top of the hour, a good time for gauges. Yeah, right. There we go, we've got a target. Looks like 20 meters out. I don't know if that's real though. It is. I'm gonna. It's I don't know why I didn't do this before. Range down a bit. 50 meter. So Atlantis 10 meter divisions now, it should light up a little bit. There we better. go, yeah, see it there. No visual. No, you can come down, uh, come down 10 meters. Winch, winch down 10. Yes, please. Winch control, pay out 10 meters. Ten meters a minute. Ten meters a minute. Ten meters per minute. Ten meters per minute. So I think that should take one minute. Right, Ed? <laughs> I wasn't listening. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with C. Yep, that's correct. Thanks. All the above. <laughs> All the above. Gages are... Check, 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 check. Good enough. Oh, I see it there in Atalanta, dangling. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, Jake, you can uh, 
come under Atalanta about 30 meters and hide under Atalanta. Oh, I see. We've Just lost the uh, Doppler beams. Yeah. Sorry. I'll switch you back to USBL if you like, or we oh, might hey, acquire hey, them soon. Hey, hey. Oh, we can come back down. Copy, copy. We can come down uh, 30 meters now. We know where it is. Visual. And at least one sonar. Winch control payout three zero meters at ten meters per minute. Thirty meters, ten meters per minute. Roger. I'm coming down a bit too, Jake. Yeah, I'm coming down. Let's see. It should be all lighted up. Your way. Sorry, your way ahead of. Um, Atalanta, because we didn't get Doppler. Ooh, Hold on, yeah. you need to back up. Back it up. Just come straight. Right, let me switch over to USBL here. There we go. That's where you are. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it's because we lost Doppler and I didn't switch it over. Come all stop on the winch, Randy. Winch control. I'll stop. I'll stop. So you're on USBL um, control until we lower down and reacquire for DBL. Yeah, okay. just come straight down, Jake. I'll come down too. Coming down. Down and back. That's why we have a visual on the hook. Yeah, it's all good. Starting to get beams. I'll let you know when it's solid. We'll switch back. And come down another 10, Randy. 10 with the winch? Yeah. 10 at 10. Winch control, 10 meter payout, 10 meters per minute. Oh, we'll hide out under here, and as soon as you get it in your sonar, <coughs> then you know it's in this sonar, then you know it's below you, and then you can fly up and get a visual on it. You might be able to see it from here. <coughs> so, Dirk, when we get back to Barkley, it's the upper slope dive, right? Is that the only one that's No, left? the node as well. The node? We okay. You can recover the fish acoustics at the node and um, right. upper slope as well. So if somebody was interested in seeing the whale fall again, they may have missed that opportunity. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Copy, copy. Or they're early by a year. <laughs> How about that? First in line. Yeah. But they could go to uh, data.oceannetworks.ca and check out yeah. C-Tube. Divisions are too small to pick it up. 5, 10, 15, 20, and it's oh, 20 it's out from... Still, it's no, it's still still oh, no, 20. Yeah. I thought that was, those were 20 still, meters. Still yeah, yeah. Bit. Come down another 10, right? Copy. Winch control, 10 meters payout, 10 meters per minute. You can just, yeah, I should have just <coughs> keep paying out at 10. Okay, uh, I want to get you on Doppler, so we'll wait. Yeah, wait sorry about you. that. I yeah, no worries. came up a little. We're still too high. I can... Yeah, a little, just a little. It's I'll come down a bit, Jake. Coming down. I came up too high there. I forget what we did last time. We didn't lose Doppler though. Oh, there you got it, 85 meters. Okay, uh, yeah, it's pretty solid there. Let me set you back up. Okay. Dead wreck here. Dead wreck here. Position here. I saw we lost it. I didn't notice uh, the USBO blue dots. <laughs> yeah, moving. I saw them moving out the, out north. The danger zone. Was, yeah. Nice catch. Yeah, sorry, I didn't switch it all over. So I was ready for continuous, Dan. 
Yeah, you can pay out slow. We should like Winch control, up. pay out 10 meters per minute, continuous. You can sneak out a little bit, Jake, if you want. Okay. That's uh, 20 meters away. Yeah, good fixes on it, so you can see the, the X. It's embarrassing when you fly under it and you get it wrapped in your tether. <laughs> I actually hooked the hook in my tether before. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop on the way. <laughs> Go ahead. Roger, yep. Yeah. Let me know when you're paying out again. If you come up 10, Jake, you'll probably get it. So I think that we're seeing the beacon there in Atalanta, that little, mm -hmm. so it's about the same depth as Atalanta depth, it's just at the top of the screen. Roger, proceed. Yeah, there's the beacon there, just in Atalanta, the top of the, yeah. yeah. There, there you go. Yep. What do you see? In mezzo, just a slight just a sliver. Oh, and there it is. Yep. That's the one we want. That one I trust, so because that one's tilted down, so you know it's in front of you. Or, yeah. Let uh, it let it become a Doppler though. Again. Oh. What do you do? Are you coming up? What do you do? Oh, I came yeah. up a few meters. Yeah, to, if you to hold, get it. hold there for let it be a bright target there, and then you can go get it. Copy. Uh, let me know when you're ready to pay out again. That jelly. Get out of there. We're doing work. Copy, proceed. There, I see visual right between the lasers, a little bit above. Yep. Yeah. There you can let it come down a bit to work it out. Well, if you think you see it, yeah, I see it. see it. Go get it. Should have the leash. Happy heading north. Happy, Happy heading, heading north. north. <laughs> <laughs> I should have put glow sticks on it. I've forgotten all about that. Or reflective tape. Do glow sticks handle the pressure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay on for days. Hmm. I think it's a fantasy hook you're seeing. No. Nope. Do you see it? I think it was a fantasy hook. Really? What is that? Yeah. What is that? I don't know, but it's above you still. Just because it's getting so faint on your sonar. Yeah, Raj. Five meters 
should probably light it up better. I see it in uh, both scanning at 20 meters, 5, 10, 15 meters out. Okay, have them all stop there. Maybe we missed it and we're just yeah. lighting up the wire. Roger. Winch control, all stop. Fly the little faint one out there. Just nice and easy, let it scan. I see it. It's a wire. Yeah, that's the beak. Is that the beacon? Okay, so we'll follow it down. your range here. Should light it up a little better. Come down. Yeah, I'm gonna go get on the hook. Package might be the weights. Seventy meters off deck. Get a little closer if you want. <coughs> Five meters or so. There's looks like there's still line after it. Yeah, there's a hook. Seven meters below this. I'm gonna turn off your uh, porch lights. That's just killing us. There you yeah. go. Sorry. The laser <laughs> is also confusing me too. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't need those. There we go. Much better. Wow. Incredible. There's a hook. There we go. Sixty meters. Sixty meters off. Yeah. So we want to look at the hook. Keep the headache ball slash weights well above you. We're in the pocket as far as being on target on the seafloor XY. So mm. all right, we can keep going down ten meters a minute. Winch control. Payout ten meters per minute continuous. Five five meters is a good distance from it to keep it lit up. Roger. Come down. You're uh, 315 there. Still within tolerance. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, usually when that happens, if you just let go of it it'll and wait, it'll come back into your view. The closer you are, the less likely that is to Stay below those headache balls, though, they'll hurt you. Yeah. 
Hercules 40 meters off deck. Right. Happy heading acquired. Go hit the mud before we see it. Hercules, thirty meters off the bottom. All right. Up. That's a good view there. <coughs> Forty-five meters. Roger. Twenty meters. Twenty meters, and I see a package at the bottom there. Oh yeah. Can get a little closer now. <coughs> we'll stop them at ten meters again, Randy. Copy. And we may have a good view of the seabed in the package. That the new, that's the new one, I think. Yeah, that's the new one. Okay. You want to all stop there? Uh, give them a few more meters. A little more, there. Roger. Yeah. Go fly up to it a bit more, Jake, so we can see how high it is. <laughs> okay, you can stop in there. Winch control, all stop, all stop. So, uh, I would go over to the old package, keep the hook in view the whole time, <coughs> and uh, we'll get a range to it. So if you go over to the old package and look at the hook. Should be able to back up and... I think it should be to your starboard. Mm -hmm. Nice, yeah. and then back up from there. It should be there. The reciprocal of 315, whatever that is. 135 oh. will be your hook heading. I mean, uh, yeah, 315 and package should be under you. And Tiri. You're getting a bit west with it. Or, sorry, east. It should yeah. be like 315 and back up. Just keep way. keep the hook in view. Yeah, you want to keep the hook in view, Jake? Back to your left. <coughs> Always a good idea to keep an eye on that thing. Use your other camera. Should be off to your port side. Port side, runner. Really? Uh, yeah, I had it as... Um, as south of the pla pla south of the of the uh, new one, right? I think like it's southeast. South southeast, yeah. So well, more east, maybe. I don't know. No, it's to your right. Uh, <laughs> I'll just back up. <laughs> <laughs> or you can just back up. Yes. 
Right so here. the new one's to the right. Yeah, the old ones. Yeah, keep backing up. The lateral right. There's something bubble can. Though. Yeah, the old one. go east of it not south of it targets are mistaken actually it is southeast it is southeast yeah, yeah. southeast makes sense um 15 meters towards us yeah 15 meters you want that ship move 15 yep. meters uh, for the hook, that will be directly east. It's appearing that way. Bridge, nav. Step one, five meters east. Uh, 0 0.3. Surprise on the hook. Oh, there it is. Yeah. 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 Center screen, top. Yeah, Raj. Right. Thank you. It's in sonar, too. Yep. And what was the speed of that move? 3,000 millinots? That's correct. No, actually, that's not correct. That'd be three knots. Ah, what's it do? <laughs> <laughs> so three hundred millinots, right? I have no three. Idea. We'd have to call hundred thousand nanonots. <laughs> Dr. Brian Kennedy and ask him. It's his uh, signature move. Yeah. Very entertaining to work with. Yeah, he's always been a fun guy. Yeah. Point zero zero three kilonauts. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Okay. Or three zeros. Three zeros. Yeah, he's got to be in the top three of pragmatic scientists that I've worked with. Yeah. I could definitely see that. He, uh, has an aversion to microscopes and likes to hang out on the back deck. Help yeah, he'd much. Recover the vehicle. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Prefers the macroscope. <laughs> Ship move is complete. Now we wait. Let the hook come to you, Jake. Be the hook. It's more afraid of you than you are of it. So you have to establish trust. When it's about 10 meters away, we can fly up and grab a hold of it with the magnet. Fourteen meters. You got a good. Uh, <coughs> 
thought it'd be closer than 10 meters, but I got a good reference of where how to get back to this thing backing up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we'll um, we'll fly up and grab the wire with this beastie here, and then I'll pay out a bunch. Yeah, we can either pay out, but before we do that, we'll uh, we'll just once we did you watch last time we did it? Wasn't that last night? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. We'll, we'll, as soon as you grab, you want to come up a bit and lay it out in front of you a little, and then once you're happy and got control, then uh, we can pay out and fly back, and at some point I'll grab the hook with the seven. And so we'll keep the jerky bit in the magnum. Uh, yeah, we can suck the crane in. Good call. Well, forget is about it, that. Is it heavy? I well, think it was because of that float business. Yeah, it just, it helped. Okay. Yeah, it definitely helped. Lounge, lounge nav. Hey, Josh, is that you? Uh, yeah, we're requesting that the crane uh, extend in. Thank you. I do you want this thing to fly in. Probably the other way. So. More challenging with this arm. Hit the mud from there if he extends in. How long is that extension? Uh, well, uh, uh, <laughs> what's our tap? <laughs> It'll come close. So we could, if he does it before we grab it, then we'll have him haul in five. Yeah, last time we had to, we came up five and back down two or three, so it'll be close. 10 meters is a comfortable kind of... Do you want him to haul in five then? He's, uh, Josh is just getting out there. Have him uh, come up. What do you think that extension is? Three? Three, yeah, sure. Yeah. Six feet, there maybe goes. longer. Yeah, you can pay in a couple meters. Winch control, haul in three meters. I think we'll be all right, but... Yeah. An abundance of caution. Haul in three meters. It's just about ten meters. Just about out. ten. Think it's still swinging, or you think that's it? I wouldn't mind. Uh, let's do another. I think it's still swinging, to be honest. I don't think it's moved much at all. It's yeah. only moved five, and are we called in 15. Are you right over the old package? I can't see. Should be, yeah. Yeah, where are you at, Jake? 